Hey all, I know I'm a little late to this, but since we lost one of the good ones, someone who meant a lot to so many over the years, I felt the need to say something. Now, with that out of the way, famed actor and pop culture icon Leonard Nimoy passed away at the end of last month in Los Angeles. He was 83. Prior to his death, he had been admitted to the hospital for chest pains. Best known, of course, for his longtime portrayal of the Vulcan Spock on Star Trek, Nimoy played the character in multiple seasons, spin-offs, and feature films since the 1960s. Most recently, he reprised the role as an aged Spock for the last time in Star Trek Into Darkness, directed by J.J. Abrams. Leonard Nimoy's acting career hit its stride long before the Star Trek franchise, though, starting with appearances on The Twilight Zone and in sci-fi cult classics such as Them, you know, the one about the big killer ants. When the original Trek was canceled, Nimoy tried to distance himself from his genre fame, even proclaiming for a time, I am not Spock. And he landed a role on the Mission Impossible TV series and later hosting duties on the somewhat popular documentary series In Search Of. Oh, who am I kidding? It was awesome. In the 1980s, he turned to directing major features, having directed TV here and there over the years. He helmed two straight Star Trek sequels, Search for Spock and The Voyage Home, where he was basically the central character. And that was the clause in his contract. And Nimoy returned to his roots, embracing the role that made him famous, finally. He followed up those films with the classic ensemble comedy Three Men and a Baby, proving his versatility once again. And that was a classic in its own right that's given us some modern folklore. Remember the boy and the shotgun that was really a cardboard cutout of Ten Dancing? Anyway, more than that, more than that more than Leonard Nimoy was also a photographer, author, poet, and a celebrated voice artist. He lent his talents to numerous documentaries, specials, and cartoons, including The Simpsons, where he gamely lampooned his well-known work in a few of my favorite episodes, Marge vs. the Monorail and Springfield Files, which is the greatest episode of The Simpsons ever, by the way. Don't let Watch Mojo tell you any different. And to most of us, Nimoy will always be Spock in our hearts, first and foremost, but... He'll be remembered ultimately, I think, for his legacy of uniqueness and good-natured panache, which allowed him to engage with his work, his corpus, and his fan base with a sense of fun and whimsy for over 60 years. And his attitude toward it all in the last few decades became the model for many a geek icon. Bruce Campbell, Mark Hamill, some guy named Bill. Well, that's how I feel, and I'm Eric. Well, not big, I... Hope you got the picture. Until next time, live long and prosper. Rest in peace, Leonard. We'll miss you. And uh, Spock's brain, I think we all can agree. Just the season and the time slot. Okay?